JJ, what was your first impression of Luca? When I saw Luca for the first time, uh, he came to play pickup. We signed him, and then it was like two weeks before the season, and he came to play pickup with us. And I was like, this guy is huge. <laughs> when I say huge. I was like, this guy is huge. And I had to guard him playing pickup. And I was like, there's no way he's going by me. There's no way he's going by me. But for some reason, it's so long, so heavy, so strong, that he was laying me up, like, lay up here, lay up here. He was playing with us, passes behind the back, and I was like, oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, it was – I knew what I – the first day I saw him play pickup with us, he was treating us like he was playing with his boys in, in a pickup game. I was like, this kid got it. And then – when I realized he, 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 he practiced, he was okay. Uh, pickup games, he was okay. But when the lights are, were on and the TVs were on, he, he, turned, he turned the lever up, and that's when I saw he was, he was, a, he was, he was for real. We, we talked about this in China um, a couple of seasons ago. I think Luca was, had just been drafted. It was his rookie year, right? When yeah. When we were in China? Yeah. So yeah. you had only, yes, yeah, so you'd only seen him play, you know, with, with the Mavs for a couple weeks. And I remember you saying to me, like, if this guy takes the game seriously, not in like a negative way, no, but no, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. if he, if he takes the game seriously, he's going to be incredible. He's just that good. Um, what, what did you, what did you sort of mean by that? Well, he's still, he's still a kid, Jay. He's still, he's still chilling. I, I think he's still chilling. He's still growing. He still hasn't, in, in a good way, he still hasn't taken the next step, if you know what I mean. He's going to learn, when he starts really training and really working and really, like, getting ready for the NBA, he's going to be a monster. Right now, he's still, you know, he's a kid. He still thinks he could, he could pull it off like this, you know. And, and he's still getting better every year. Uh, but he's still, I think he's still a kid when he becomes – 24, 25, but he becomes a man, he's going to be a problem, a real problem. Uh, he, he loves the game. He loves his teammates. So he loves to compete against the best. He wants to compete against the best. So he's got all the things I think you need to be really great at, at, at basketball. To a degree, we all are guilty of what you're talking about when we're in yeah. our <laughs> early 20s. We oh, yeah. think we can just get away with more. Uh, we can no put question. whatever we want in our body and then go hoop the next day. It's not an issue, whatever. Um, we can miss a few days of training. Like I wasn't, I mean, you probably weren't, I wasn't as diligent as I am now at 23 by 26. No, I was for sure, but not at 23 later. No, no, no. Yeah. When the NBA season ended and I was 22 years old or 23 years old, I took the first plane out of Dallas to Puerto Rico and I party nonstop the whole summer. And then I got, and then and then I played with the national team, that that helped me get ready, and then I partied again, and then, and then I yeah I played pickup with my boys stuff like that, and then I went to training camp, and I was in the best shape of my life, you know, I was the fastest in training camp, I was a better player than the year before, so I was like, but yeah, if I do that now, like if I do that when I was 28, 29, 30, I, that would have never, I would have never lasted that long, you know, so I had to really focus later on but yeah in my early 20s no way tj mcconnell told me a great story (laughs) yeah (laughs) he said so he didn't know this either that like after your rookie season you have to go train (laughs) like you just so he like went back home (laughs) to pittsburgh (laughs) and he just drank beer and then he came back and yeah. Brian Colangelo called him in his office and was like, you look like a fucking linebacker. You need to lose some weight. 